everybody. It's your girl, Emma. How's everybody out there in TV land, or should I say YouTube land? Good. I'm glad everybody is good. Listen, I got on here today because I want to talk to you guys about teenage kids and just your kids. I have a 14-year-old granddaughter. My daughter is 34. Okay, so I don't have any teenage kids per se, but I, I am a grandmother of three. I'm a grandmother of a 14-year-old, which is a girl, and I am a grandmother of a 12-year-old, which is a girl, and a 7-year-old, which is my little grandson, my only grandson, Christopher. Okay, you guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, being a grandparent or even being a parent of a teenager. Um, I was watching... Um, Click niece, one of her videos, and she was doing um, a video with her daughter. And the statement, one of the statements that her daughter made is that even though her mom, you know, disciplined her, you know, could be, you know, just disciplined her, at the end of the day, she still loves her mom, and she said that she still likes to get underneath her. That means she likes to cuddle with her mom. She still talks to her mom. She still shows her mom love. And that's a powerful thing. Because a lot of times when our teenage kids or grandkids are going through a lot of stuff, they don't want to be underneath us. Okay? Like now, I'm going through a little something, something with my granddaughter, and she's 14 because she's feeling herself. Okay? And I have to jack her up from time to time. And a lot of you guys know what I mean. When I say I have to jack her up, Real talk. I have to literally jack her up. But at the end of the day, I want her to be able to come to me still and show her granny love. And I'm still showing her love. So that was a powerful thing that she said that at the end of the day, she still like being underneath her mom. Okay? And that means we as grandparents and mothers and dads, we have to give our kids the love that they need. I'm not going to say deserve. They need to feel love being a teenager. And a lot of times, that's why they're acting out. Because they're not getting the love that they need. Now, I'm not speaking for those that's out here just being straight up disobedience, rebellions. I'm not talking about that. Because that's what mine is going through now. Because she gets the love. Okay? She gets that. But you got some of those that just kind of want to be grown, and you have to do what you have to do to, to line them back up, okay? At the same time, the reason I'm making this video is so that we as parents give our kids, our teenage kids, I'm talking about kids that's 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, 17 years old, they got to feel the love from us. When they're not when they don't feel the love from us, y'all, that's why they go out there and they act a fool up in the high schools. You know, they out here at the stores and the malls or whatever, you know, disrespecting um, adults and everything. You know, we got to be firm with them. That's true, we do. But at the same time, y'all, we got to show them love. You think about it. When you were a teenager, did your mom express the love to you? My daughter is 34 years old. She just turned 34 February the 19th. When she was growing up, I used to just say, hey, Vanessa. She thought I was calling her to do something, but I would just say, mommy loves you. And she can tell you that. I would just call her at the clear, out the clear blue and just say, I love you. And I still tell her that. I love you. Okay, me and her had our little issues and things like that. But at the end of the day, I know she loves me and she knows I love her. Okay? I, you know. I know that, that video just did something to me to hear her say, at the end of the day, I still like being underneath you. So that tells me one thing. Our kids need that love. We have to give them that. They, you know, they got peer pressure. They got the mood swings. You know, they got a lot of stuff going on. You know, and if we can give them that love at the same time being firm, we got to be firm now. Okay. Because I know I'm a very firm grandmother, but I do express my love to my grandkids, okay? Excuse me. I'm burping. But I thought that's my that, that's my story. That's my, my story time. I thought I would get on here and share that with you guys. So, 
if you guys uh, agree with me, leave me a comment below, okay? And for all the subscribers that I have, I appreciate you guys so much. I know I haven't been on here in a while, okay? I was going to make this video next week in the gym on the elliptical, I mean on the Stairmaster, but I decided to go ahead and make it now to make it a story time. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. So I appreciate you guys, but I wanted to put that in there to talk about being um, a grandmother of a teenage child or even just your own kid, okay? About how we got to show them the love, y'all, because without that, they they they're gonna be a mess. They're gonna be a straight up mess. And I see a lot of teenagers out here now. They're so disrespectful, and that's not to say they're not getting the love, but then I don't think they know how a lot of times too they don't know how to channel their anger as well and we have to guide them to how to channel the anger okay now sometimes i know i might get a little carried away with my eyes you know and i have to check myself and say hey you know you need to pull back a little bit okay but then there are some kids you can't pull back you know yeah you, you got to be all up in their face like i was with my little 14 year old okay okay so if you guys get anything out of this story time just remember show your teenager love just call them out the blue and just say hey i love you they're going to think that you want them to get up and go do something but just say hey i love you you know they need to feel the love not just saying they need to actually feel it okay but that's my my story time i just thought i'll just jump in you know jump on here and just say that so leave me a comment below all right appreciate you guys Thank you all so, so much. All right. Smooches. That's my motto. Just in case if you didn't know. Smooches is my motto. Okay. Bye, you guys.